Well, hello everyone, Goko here and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. We're right here where we left it and we're taking a look here at, well, it just disappeared, but uh, we saw there a little problem there that the fish is uh, actually, they were not being able to find fish. This is what I, you know, I mentioned early in the game, I believe in the second or third episode where we were trying to build, uh, you know, through two or three fishing huts. I believe three might be too much right now it, it's it's gone the message is gone but i'm just gonna keep it uh, as is but anyways in this episode we are gonna be trying to rush a, another city right what's going on this building has pretty expensive that could not be afforded uh but i mean we do have the money i mean we're producing 85 so i believe that's that's the problem of like there's no way to store the money or something like that the gold i believe that's in relation to that I don't know we'll see because it says that 85 it's a plus 85 which is weird because it looks like we don't have any expenses which is also not true but anyways i guess we just need to wait for a month to pass or something uh, so in this episode we're going to be rushing a kind of like a third community right because we can call this one one two and a third one here or maybe a fourth one anyways we're going to be doing that right now we're going to be building a road all around here across the the map here and this we're gonna oh no never mind hold on wait a minute uh, no we don't want to do that because this guy is in the way i completely forgot about this i wish we we could be able i mean we were able to see the pasture right because right now oh look at that we can upgrade it uh we need 150 wood planks and 25 stone okay we'll do that looks like the upgrade is gonna give us more space and whatnot i i wish we can actually see uh, this space here that we're utilizing to avoid building something here all right so we're gonna be building the houses here's the thing we don't want to build houses there so we're gonna be building houses around this area i guess obviously it's kind of like far away the other option i was thinking about is just expanded this in this direction and i think that's might be the best again might be the best option there so yeah this is actually really bad i really don't want this to happen i don't know if it's because of the time of the year or something but fishy productivity is zero now we have a way to move this guy over here i don't know if that's actually going to change something i don't know no gold storage ensure you have buildings that can accept gold ingots into their storage uh the only the only one is this one i don't i don't i don't think we have any kind of like storage for the gold although this might be it no i don't see it here yeah you see i don't know we're going to continue to receive that message until i guess we build this guy here which is i think it's not it shouldn't be fair because we have to buy the the iron ingots we cannot produce them to tier three uh we're i mean we're ready to start pushing over i mean over to tier three but we're yet to see that all right so as i say i was saying i'm gonna build towards this direction if we look at the market here we're serving just this radius we might want to add another market here and might as well add another one of these guys right another one of the root cellar what i'm gonna add in the meantime is another warehouse it looks like this warehouse is completely full we don't want warehouses to be at at 100 capacity right i mean it's good that because we're producing stuff at least that's what it means but at the same time we don't want to actually run out of you know room in in the city right, i'm gonna be placing that there and then I'm going to see if we can actually build a road. We can. Okay, perfect. We're going to be building that road there just to connect these two. That way they don't have to go around. That way they can go through here. I don't know. I kind of like the road there. I'll divide in here a little bit. But anywho. All right. So if we build a market here, it's going to cover this area. I see. Okay. So a market here might not be a bad spot. Right here. Let's see, kind of like facing that direction. So let's go ahead and place that market there. Obviously, it's going to be protected by that by that uh, uh, tower. And then we're going to obviously place a root cellar next to it. I usually like to do that, just to, uh, although it's not necessary. I actually like to do it because it looks a little bit more realistic. Obviously, these guys over here are going to be gone very, very soon, actually. But it is what it is. All right, let's go and expand this row over here. I think we can actually go something like that and start building houses uh, you know around across this this row right here and we can even expand in this direction 
but let's go and do something here let's go ahead and remove all the trees over here okay. oh wait a minute we have a bear here we gotta be very careful there we don't want any any disasters here with that bear especially with the builders coming this way all right let's gonna speed up time what is going on here food low it's low the food stock is low i'm still upgrading we just need to wait just to see the whole message but it shouldn't be i mean we're at capacity here on the granary itself i wonder if we actually hmm are we gonna need another granary i mean we can throw another granary here ideally we'll be next to the rat catcher right but i don't think i left enough room for that granary let's see if we go to resources or is it in food production it shouldn't be in food production should it? it should be here in the storage actually granary i mean we can build it next to this apiary i'm gonna do that i'm gonna build that guy there and it's gonna cover the rat catcher is gonna cover the whole area here remember we're producing a lot lots of a grain over here lots of grain where this one came out of a 2500 and these guys can store up to 1800 so we are completely at capacity can we upgrade these guys it looks like we cannot upgrade them so actually this is this is something that the developers might look into it or maybe there is another type of storage a, you know, a, a cooper no there is no kind of like a storage just for for that for the the grain so i don't know if that's going to be an addition in the future all right stuff going bad this guy is actually at capacity uh it shouldn't say it's at capacity because we have another one here i'm, I'm assuming it's just time you know it's just we just have to let people uh, empty that spot and then or empty that garage or no i keep calling it garage but it's a warehouse empty that warehouse until you know bring stuff here anywho all right so let's go and speed up full time here firewood is low yeah that's no bueno that's definitely no good whatsoever I, I, I think we have oh we actually need people here so maybe four of them will be sufficient if 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 it is not then we can actually add another one and we have a spot here for more production buildings around here i really kind of want to do i feel like i'm doing some some kind of like what i usually do in city skylines where i keep the production in the or I mean, you kind of have to do it in city skylines you keep the industrial area outside your residential area i don't know if the game is suitable to play it this way but we're giving it a try that's why we're here right just to try as many ideas and as, as many as many you know thoughts as possible now one thing we can actually do and we survived year number 18 and it looks like we're growing way too too much here there was a message there i think we are we're gonna slaughter look at the the amount of meat that we get when we slaughter a cow but unfortunately we're gonna do that we don't want this to go too crazy because we don't have a a full production of of, of grain like like a constant production of grain so i rather don't do that looks like these guys are gonna need a little bit of sand yep and then we're gonna be bringing these wheat levels completely down i'm hoping with these two guys working we might actually need to remove this and add a third one here fertility is at 81 which is really nice so if we if we get to you know bring down wheat levels to a very low number then we next year we might start actually start producing stuff right because 81 i mean we can leave this guy here but then here we can place whatever comes next in the list according to what i said last last time all right, one thing we can actually do is we cannot move the oh no we can actually move this guy if we absolutely want to that road there might not be i really want to do something like this i'm gonna hit, leave it here at 81 percent and this road i'm gonna eliminate it i'm gonna destroy that road and the reason why is because i really want to keep this area very very like uh secluded right and this area i'm i'm gonna try to push like a like a a bigger farm here and some sort of the buildings in the future especially here that belongs to the whole farming industry now, if we took a look here we can actually enclose this if we absolutely want to but but it's gonna be a little bit tough to do it without being able to see the actual layout there i mean i know it's going here but i mean we we can count right kind of like uh two four 
six. I mean, we can see this here and then a little bit more. But again, is it <laughs> is it worth doing all this work just to place a fence there? Maybe, but it's going to be boring if I actually do it on camera. All right. Let's see what you got here. Okay, so you are buying pelt. I mean, we have a decent amount of pelt here. Uh, although this is going to go down a little bit. I think it's going to go down a little bit because deer is going to start, you know, being pushed away from their zone. It's it's at the same time, it's really good. Now, I really want to start producing more of those coats. Who produces those coats? Let's take a look. Uh, this guy is the shoemaker. Let's go ahead and assign someone here. How many people we have? We have eight. I mean, we can we have some to spare. Soap, I'm okay with that. Uh, you are the farwood. You guys are the planks. You are the tannery. I'm going to assign two people here. We can have up to four. I really want those spells to be used because look at the price that we can sell the coast for 30 and a far above price so we definitely need to keep that in mind uh wow this price is really nice one gold bar per 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 grain this is actually not bad whatsoever but unfortunately we are not gonna do that because we don't have the money i mean we have 600 and something right but i'm gonna sell some of these guys just 20 just to make a little bit of income because I'm expecting another trader and I'm hoping that trader comes with some of these uh, gold, uh, not gold, but rather ingo bars. One thing we cannot forget about is actually building. <laughs> I know we're going up to the mountains, building this guy right here. I don't know how we're going to do it, but this is actually I'm laughing because I, I find it super hilarious. And the terrain, obviously, on battleable terrain, look at that. So it's actually not not gatherable. So we cannot gather it here because we cannot create a path. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, I believe we can do this, right? Yeah, we can actually place it here. Okay, that makes sense. We can place it here and they, they'll they'll mine it there. Another another gold mine that we have is around this area, which I believe is actually more suitable, a little bit more realistic. Not realistic, but rather uh, reachable. But I really like that area there. I really want to start building up in the mountains. I don't know. That's something I actually I'm very intrigued to see how it works. But look at the look at the the wow. They're gonna have to like walk quite a lot. Obviously, we're probably gonna need to put a a, a temporary shelter just like we did here, right? Because these guys have to walk all the way down here for their houses. We can throw another temporary shelter here, even. Uh, we can throw another one here if we absolutely want to as well. Where is it? We go to housing. We can throw one of these guys somewhere here, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly positioned, even here next to the the cemetery we can throw it here but i'm expecting these guys to use this one from time to time are they gonna do it i'm not 100 sure but i'm expecting them to anywho where were we okay so okay the road has been built here i was waiting for it so it's time for us to start building houses so the way i'm gonna start building houses here is basically no that's not a shelter i want i want a shelter not a temporary one it's gonna be this way all right so i'm gonna start doing here and here i'm gonna leave something in the middle and then i'm gonna start start going up of the hill unfortunately it looks like we are being blocked all right so let's see how we're gonna do this all right so you are going to be going all the way down here as a matter of fact we can actually place another plaza here if we absolutely want to and need to just in case the deer i'm okay pushing it away it is what it is and if they i mean if we have to remove the hunter's cabins you know so be it right i really want to build here let's see how much we can flatten this terrain let's see if we can actually completely flatten it just to see if we we can build houses there all right let's see what they're selling oh don't, don't leave hold on let me sell this for you okay my bad all right let me take your money before you you go in 38 days so you are selling tools we need those uh, heavy tools weapons i we, i need these i need oh there you go there are okay so let's go ahead and transfer gold let's go ahead and transfer the whole the whole thing that we have here obviously that's not ideal wait a minute let's get, let me oh well we're producing 25 the thing is that i'm gonna leave something like that all right so you are buying these and we're not producing any of that Inter interesting i'm just gonna sell it to you just because 
Because <laughs> I'm going to be buying quite a lot of things from you. All right, I'm going to buy 30 tools. Or no, 20, I believe. Yeah, it's going to buy 20 tools. It's going to do that. It's going to buy 20 of these guys because we absolutely need them. And uh, they're very cheap. Uh, we can even go 30 just because, right? They're very, very cheap. Look at that. And then weapons, we need at least five. I'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy up to 10 yeah i'm gonna buy 10 weapons i know this is not the best weapon but we i remember we now have a barracks we now have soldiers we need to uh and you know this the raids that are coming our way are even you know are becoming worse and worse along the way and i'm i'm gonna buy two of these i know i'm expending to a lot of money here but i absolutely need all of them if, as a matter of fact if we can take a look here look at this we only have two okay swords 10 weapons look at this 10 web 11 weapons now so I, i'm actually tempted to buy even 10 more let's see if we can actually afford them i mean we could afford them yeah definitely 10 more is something i'm looking forward to i mean a ad, ad can of the iron clan you just got rich out of us i mean from us here so don't complain about our city go go out and tell the world that we are the best and we do and we know how to to you know appreciate a good train right <laughs> the width levels instead of going down they're actually going up what kind of job are these people doing here <laughs> am i being robbed here or something <laughs> uh, we're being lied to i guess all right so what if we throw all right so it looks like they flatten the terrain here. obviously this is gonna take way too much time if we decide to go this way it's gonna place a plaza i'm gonna do that large plaza right away right here too steep and yet we have encountered our worst enemy it's not oh no don't believe me it's not the raiders it's the terrain that's actually our worst enemy i don't know how we're gonna be working off here but definitely gonna start th throwing some shelters again we're rushing i know we're rushing a, a little bit too much the it's a different i mean it's a different play style than than i, I usually go uh and we're, but we're rushing the houses here i really want to upgrade to tier three so a lot of new things are going to start opening it up for us mainly mainly oh look at this we gotta be careful here what what i mean let me slow down time here looks like a bear it looks like we have two bears here we gotta be looking i mean we gotta be very careful here because they might be looking for the bear necessity we don't know if they're gonna be finding it all right wait a minute hold on easy boy you're gonna get killed here eventually but it's going for the food obviously it smelled food and he said you know what i'm gonna go this way but not no my friend wait, wait, wait a minute oh he's eating our bread look at that he's eating our bread oh look at him that actually reminds me that i really want to place a one of these guys somewhere here unfortunately the honey bonus is very very bad actually here might not be bad at all 70 percent yeah let's throw a guy here maybe next to the barn something like this might not be about it look at that right there next to the barn so they can <laughs> sting our our cow can get st stung by them maybe even here next to the yes throw some sort of like you know some honey Although they, I think they require farmers to come here and grab it, I believe, right? Farmers are required to service this building. So, yeah, we definitely, we're going to require a lot of farmers there. All right, looks like immigrants are coming. Are these, are, are these the guys that are going to make us go to tier three? It looks like it. It looks like it. Woohoo! There you go. I know. We're definitely going to tier three here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Enough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's just gonna rush time here. All right. So we need a total of eleven. How many are you gonna have? Eight. Okay. I'll take them. I'll take them a hundred percent. Now we need three people, and we are going to be good. Now, in order for to have three people, we definitely need to have one more house. We gotta rush that here. You see what I mean when I when I say we have to rush it. This is why I really want to place that large park right here. That way, these guys actually upgrade to something good, right? To a tier through, they start producing good, good taxes. Unfortunately, 
our worst enemy here is uh, uh it's you know le not letting us build there unfortunately so we might actually need to find a another way although these guys are at 30 percent i believe uh, they're almost there so maybe placing a couple of like medium gardens here might not be a bad spot but thin here and we can place a small garden on the back we can even place these shrubs here although it doesn't increase the durability around the area i you know it looks good i believe this guy is but not the other ones so this house is gonna pump us to 148 and we're gonna have a shelter here that's gonna pump us to 150 140 no 152 yes then we have this guy 640 84 it's that's probably gonna go away eventually this actually is providing bad desirability so we might not expand this direction until this is gone now we have more iron gold here uh, but i don't know if we're gonna exploit this one directly i'd rather keep this area just for uh, housing right obviously we're gonna go up the mountain and look at what we just discovered oh this is actually amazing okay so what if you're thinking the same thing i'm i, I am that i'm thinking yes uh yes i am gonna do that we are going to throw a fishing shack kind of like around this area right here perfect and then we're gonna have them build or fish here hopefully four fishing shacks around this lake is not too much we can even in the i mean we can actually move them a little bit we can have this guy go here this guy is going here, this guy is going here, and this guy is going to go here. Even so, this guy can even go here if we absolutely want to. I mean, this is 130, so I'd rather keep it there. What about this guy? This guy is at 160, and this guy is 140. Okay. Good enough. Housing shortage? Not anymore. Not anymore. 152. All we need to do is to uh, we need to do now is wait for people to come in. Now, one thing I really want is stone. It looks like we don't have much stones left around this area. But I definitely want all the stones to be gathered. Because we are going to be upgrading a lot of uh, houses here. So, not uh, houses, but roads, rather. Uh, even though they have to go a little bit far, whoever is available, you know, they, they know they can go over there and do that. All right, with levels continue to go down, so it looks like we might need another year of exploitation here <laughs> or hard labor. So we just need to do that. Now, now that we're going to have 150 people, I think we it's time for us to expand this one. And we do have the people to to actually work this area or work this field. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm going a little bit too bananas here and rushing way too many things at the same time, but I really believe, salvage building, I really believe that it's time for us. I mean, I believe we can actually maintain this too. All right, so where is the... So this is actually the whole thing. So if we do this, what is this? 9, 10, 8 by 9? I mean, what if we do something like this? I have an idea okay eight by nine here and what if we go a little bit more a little bit crazier you know me i'm going to go bananas you were waiting for me to go bananas well there we go we're going to go bananas you ask for it i'm provided oh it looks like we actually need to wait for that too because i really want to do an l-shaped farm i've seen it and i and i believe in them so i've seen them you know they, they do exist like they i mean there's all kind of farms it's like not all farms are like it's square <laughs> as a matter of fact probably like less than a 10 percent are square or something and this empty this field has empty crop season well i know because the wheat levels are way way too much so wondering if we're gonna need to add another one of these guys right uh i'm gonna add it here because these guys is I, I taking care of, you know, here. But I don't know if we're going to need an extra one. Because we're going to have more and more people. 15 raiders sighted. It's going to call everyone in. Do all right. There you go. Everyone go into our town center. All right. They're going to go for something here. That It looks like they're going to destroy something. I don't know what they're going to destroy here. 
They're gonna go for the field. Yeah, they're gonna destroy the field. They're gonna try to kill somebody. Oh, they're going for the farmers. Oh, look at them. They're going for the farmers. All right, so we're probably gonna need to place another one of these guys back here. All right, so this is actually destroyed. That's fine. As long as we don't get this destroyed. Oh, look at that. We can actually even upgrade these guys. Obviously, we're not going to upgrade it. Oh, they destroy a lookout tower. Wow. All right. So are we going to be able to defend this? My question. That's my question. Five villagers attack. So far, I haven't seen anyone dead. I see someone that's actually knocked out or something. Everybody should be coming. Why, why are people running back and forth instead of like going into this? Uh into like garrisoning only one person is garrisoning yeah i don't understand here what's going on but all right these guys should, are attacking that's nice we lost a a tower that's okay too we might have lost a little bit of money who knows are we gonna let them out, in, out? yeah we're probably gonna let them out yeah definitely need to crop to wildlife oh yeah because this actually they're coming in here and eat these and then okay perfect it's gonna wait to see okay so they're still look at oh no there's actually one someone that's actually or oh, it looks like they're gone all right we did a good job i believe we did a good job unfortunately we lost the tower here we lost uh this right right here and um, in the meantime, Deer decided to... Oh, look at that, an open field. I'm going to eat whatever's inside because uh, the owner is a stupid and forgot to actually close it out. <laughs> Anyways, we'll we'll do that right away. The Deer's the Deer's. Oh, Deer. There you go. My idea of expanding it this way, I'm just going gonna, gonna to wait a little bit then, I guess. Village was rated. So seven, rank size of 7, just the first raid five raider kills they didn't kill anything they didn't destroy any buildings and they didn't steal anything which is good uh so back to let's go ahead and lift this up oh we can actually repair it or something oh yeah we rebuilt oh awesome we can actually rebuild it amazing we're gonna be placing one of these guys somewhere here or like i mean the, look at this range right there it's not it's not like the best range Definitely some, something here just to... Because this area looks like to be a little bit, uh, you know, unguarded, I guess. One thing we should be doing is hiring more, more, try to hire as many, as many as we can in every lookout tower. Okay, two. So this guy is being rebuilt. That's about it. We can actually start adding more. Oh, look at that, on field. Probably somebody dying. I wonder if that that's the guy that went to to the hospital but i mean two is actually more than enough right now i mean it cost it's costing us 16 a month we definitely need to start producing a lot of uh look at that wow we are actually we need to we need to get a way to to store food somewhere else i mean we should be able to store food here although obviously it's not gonna be how how did that okay i'm assuming because yeah I was gonna say how did it that get so so filled up so quickly a building is on fire all right well you know they'll take care of that speaking of fires we need to add a well here forgot about that 44 percent bonus 63 maybe a well here might not be a bad idea <laughs> after all somewhere something there maybe something here 48 yeah, these actually are bad, bad, bad. Well, they have one there. So another one here might not be a bad spot. And you are going to come here. Look at that, 260. We gotta be careful here with this uh, bear. One thing we can actually do is, yeah, we can definitely put a gathering spot and start gathering willow, herbs. But right now, I don't think we are in need of any of that. We have it here. So I'd rather keep it just like that, just, in, you know, for now. All right, so what is this upgrade to? Additional item recipes. Okay. Increase durability. Okay. And what is going to cost us? Uh, 250 gold ingots. No, 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 no. I saw that the towers can be upgraded, though. Yeah, look at that. What's going to happen? Increase durability. 
uh, range damage, increased attack range. This is actually really good, but it's going to cost 100. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's go ahead and do this one as well. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do two of them only just for now all right next time somebody comes in we're gonna be selling we're just gonna see if we can sell some pelts look at look at the tools guys nine tools now we went down we were we bought like what 25 we're down to nine see what i mean we definitely need to start producing our own tools we definitely need to do that asap all right unfortunately deers are probably moving out of here soon or eventually, I guess. This root cellar, it's actually making me worry a little bit because I don't think we even have another storage. Yeah, we don't have any more storage for that. I mean, we can have a storehouse it's just, just for food, right? But does that make any sense? We can have two root cellars, though. I can, I'm happy with that. Two of them. I don't know if that's actually not efficient, but we can have two of them. I'm assuming because since the... A farm is actually closest to this one. They're going to come in here instead of going that way. I don't know. Is this the maximum size? I forgot the size of this crop. And what about you? All right. Eight, 15. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to be doing one more. I really want with levels. Let's see what is here. Here is one. Here is two. Yeah, I really want to do one more. I want it lower down to 15%. So... Once we get there, I'll I'll do the rotation. I'll look into the rotation. Speaking of rotation, it's gonna speed up time. We're gonna go into our nine, 18th winter, 19th year. I believe we are actually doing phenomenal. I look at the vault. Oh, wait a minute, where's the vault? There it is. Yes, we are, we actually built the vault. We're now storing gold ingots here. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a deeper look at it. Let's closer look right there. As a very securely like, kind of like a bank right it's it's called a vault look at the smoke coming out of the chimney well ladies and gentlemen the vault is here da, 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 da. <laughs> all right being protected by the barracks who's actually being garrisoned by only two people oh, that's fine they're nice people only one person guys only one person that needs to either Bo get born or come into our city in order for us to move to tier three i'm very excited about it very very excited obviously it's gonna cost us a, a, an arm and a leg there you go oh no but they actually need to be oh no, there you go we're actually at 150 population wonderful wonderful actually that actually we need a a i know i know that's actually perfect i know <laughs> So we need a, a 1,200 gold ingots. That's actually quite a lot, but we can certainly make it uh, next uh, spring. So let's go ahead and speed our time here. Uh, we definitely want to rush that as soon as possible. As we say goodbye to another winter, another cold weather. Uh, I just did a little bit here. I, I, you know, just going to give you a little upgrade here. And look at that. A livestock animal was born. So yes uh, it, it is what it's looking like it's basically we're building another kind of like industrial area around this area now this is a work camp we definitely need them to start cutting more uh, down more logs we're gonna need to start producing more firewood and we're definitely gonna need to start producing more arrows as you can see here some of our uh, soldiers are around here especially the hunters cabins it looks like none of them are complaining about it but the, the arrow count well, the bow count is actually not keeping up at least the arrow cab count is not keeping up with the with the the amount of things that we're needing right the amount of arrows that we're needing with the demand so we're definitely adding another fletcher here just a one guy thing this guy i'm gonna have it actually lean it towards uh just leave it one by one maybe a little bit more wood than than stone but i'm definitely gonna keep stone there and then we're gonna build a store warehouse here because the reason why is if we need to start producing more firewood, we need to start producing more stuff. We definitely need to keep everything around here since we're going to be building another kind of like a neighborhood around here. Remember the call that we were talking that there were 600? Now there is zero. That's as easy as that. So we can remove these guys out of here. The people that was working there are going to become now unemployed. Another thing that I'm actually thinking about, we might actually need to add one of these guys. Uh an extra or probably another school maybe around here 
there's a lot of things that we're gonna need to do right but everything needs to be done you know slowly baby steps otherwise we're gonna be overwhelmed in no time all right you are buying these guys so and what a price and a very 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 good price so i'm gonna sell i'm gonna sell 50 i'm gonna do 75 God, i'm gonna do 75 since we're producing them uh candles we're not producing candles that much this is very very interesting and yes we're producing milk that's gonna open up the cheese uh tier three is gonna open up cheese making so definitely something i'm looking forward to so we do have some gold here we ha we need 1200 with what we're gonna be selling i don't know how much that gonna give us but hopefully give us a lot all right so let's take a look at our flag situation we do have you know it's okay flags it's not like oh we have a, ma a lot of flags so three people there might be enough one thing is worrying me is the wax uh, i think with the new update wax is get produced very very slow and then, i don't know why though it's very very slow before it was super fast now it's super slow and i liked it the other way because we are not producing candles at, at, a, at a very good pace right we right now we have uh we had one now we have zero so baskets we definitely need quite a lot uh we have a capacity there how much willow we have we haven't looked at the willow in a long time so we have 28 that's okay it's not it's not a big number but but it's, you know it's it's reasonable all right so you are buying i'm gonna buy everything and that's more than enough let's go and traffic it all and let's see what do you, are you buying you're buying pelt and a very bad price you're buying coats on a very hard price soap i'm not gonna sell and uh nothing else i don't want to buy any of these appreciate i appreciate your 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 being here now where's the pottery guy this is the pottery guy two three people i don't know this is actually clothe potty all right there you go it's gonna assign three people here i really want those pots to be produced in a fast matter all right oh great what are we missing a hundred planks okay i mean we cannot produce planks any 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 faster <laughs> We're probably gonna need to add up one of those guys over here. What is it? The Sop It? Let's see. Fletcher. Sop It. There you go. I know it's bad desirability. Hopefully it doesn't it doesn't affect our fertility. That will be a very bad thing. As a matter of fact, if we want to, we can actually add another compost yard here. In in case this actually becomes way too crazy or uh, things get too out of hands. These guys are not don't have, they don't have enough food interesting all right with levels looks like they're gonna be go going down so this guy is doing right this guy is doing flex meaning no actually next year this guy is doing beans and then this guy is gonna do right and then we're gonna need to do flags here i know i know it, it it's a little bit boring that we're doing the same thing over and over like among the three fields but i think i think that's actually gonna be good in the you know at the beginning that way we can keep up with the whole thing we can add a different crop here instead of the beans we can add maybe the the pea right or we can add the cabbage right why don't we try that let's gonna try add the cabbage then all right so the cabbage is heat tolerant frosty okay with suppression okay so we can actually add the cabbage here obviously we need one of these guys in front of it we can do that and then after that beans rye so next year will be beans flags rye so we need rye here and then we're going to be adding flags over there and the reason i do rye is because i feel like it you know it gets you know it doesn't get disease or get an uh, illness uh as much as wheat does obviously wheat produces even more look at this this is actually producing 2700 the wheat's gonna produce yeah, the same about the same but it can produce up to 3100 it's gonna produce quite a lot of more this one can produce up to what let's take a look up to 20 like like 500 more 600 more so i mean it's it's worth it but at the same time up to one point right because it's, if we if it's gonna get the disease a crop disease all the time what's the what's the you know what's the point there now the thing is that we need to i mean we need to manage this by crop it looks like so definitely something i really not interested of doing this by crop let's see so this guy produces 
Yeah. We're gonna... I mean, does, is it losing? It is not losing. Okay. As long as it doesn't lose, I'm okay with the right gaining 10%. But uh, as long as it doesn't, you know, lose any anything because of the of the soil mixture, I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, do we have the planks yet? We do not. So let's go ahead and prioritize this building, guys, please. Give me a full priority here. Yeah, stone is going down quite a lot. And you, my friend, are going to be producing 5 to 1. And I'm not going to do anything to him. Uh, I'm not going to add anyone there. Now, can we upgrade this guy? We cannot. We need a heavy 2 and we need a tier 3 building. Actually, that's going to... Additional workers. Uh, it's items production speed. And that's, that's the thing. Once we upgrade to tier 3, are we going to need this, pro this production, this industrial area here? I really don't know. Because thinking about it, maybe look at this guy. This guy doesn't upgrade. So we're definitely going to need another work camp. But many of these things, we're probably not going to need it because we, have, we can upgrade them once we get to tier 3. So do think about it. Do, you know, take your make your own conclusions. But, but I think I think that's the way to go there. Speaking of way to go, I'm actually going to add a couple houses here. There you go. Since that we since we are needing houses quite a lot, actually I'm going to add one here and one here. And in the middle, you know what it is, right? In decorations, a garden, look at that garden trail. I actually don't I don't mind this guy right here. In the back, we can actually add, because these guys are shelter. We can add something here, like a garden or something, but we can, I kind of want to wait for a statue. Let's see, medium statue. Large garden, no, that's way too big. Medium garden. I mean, this obviously is going to increase the desirability quite a lot, but at the same time, I really want to keep, just keep keeping a steer. I don't want to add because, right? Oh, because of this, I'm going to add it. Uh, well, the statues are going to be added in, the, in this direction or some, somewhere here around this area, right? To, to uh, you know, in honor to our, our, our military mainly, who are doing an excellent job. Definitely adding three people here, if not four. So, so far, so good. Let's take a look here. No, yeah, we're, we're going to get produced. We're going to produce that eventually. So, how's the clay go doing? 1100, almost there almost at capacity so um, i mean not almost but we have another one there i mean we can play with the clay quite a lot clay remember is used for many things mainly for the pottery and other stuff but i think we've made a lot of advancement unfortunately we are not going to be able to rush to tier three in this episode but definitely next episode we're going to be able to go into tier three and start doing many 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 other things but for now guys i'm going to be keeping it here Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next episode. I will see you next time. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys.